Welcome to Calisthenics Kids. Today is lesson number 23 and we're going to be working on a balance skill called the aeroplane. It's going to be not as intense as yesterday but we are definitely going to learn some new skills today. So all we're going to focus on for the first part is getting used to standing up in a bit of a staggered stance. So let's show you what that looks like with a movement called the monkey. So all I want you to do is we're going to cross over our arm, we're going to land one, two, three, four, and then stand up from whatever position we're in. So what I mean by that is I'm going to go one, two, three, four, and then stand up. You can make this harder or easier depending on how much height you can get. So if I feel confident, I can go one, two, three, four, stand up. How much height can I get? One, two, three, four. And what I want you to play about with is see if you can experiment with a wider base or a narrower base. Let's see if we can see what that looks like. So one, two, three, four. There's my narrow base. Stand up. Now I'm going to try a wide one. One, two, three, four. And stand up from my wide one. Now I'm going to try one foot forward, one foot back. So one, two, three, four. And stand up. And let's see if we can do the reverse on the other side. One, two, three, four, and stand up. So we're combining different skills. Next thing we're going to look at is we're going to incorporate some moves we've done previously. So yesterday we focused on the duck walk, and now we're just going to add in a little bit of height each time. So we're going to start off like this, pretty low to the ground. We're going to trim the carpet with your knees to come forward, stand up, back down, trim the carpet, Stand up, back down. Can we do this going backwards as well? So stand up, back down, stand up, back down. Now let's try that with a slightly wider base if we can. So coming forward, stand up. Can we come forward, stand up? Can we do this coming backwards as well? If you want a real challenge, try this with your eyes closed as well as that wide base. Next move we're gonna do, is our horse walk with a little bit of a twist. So each time you shift over to one side, you're gonna stand up out of that position. So horse walk, for those of you who can't remember, slide across, stand up, feet together. Slide across, stand up, feet together. If you wanna challenge yourself, bring your feet together while staying in this position here, and then stand up out of that. Can we do it coming backwards? And we're going to spice things up in just a second. So stand up, testing our balance, and slide across. Slide across, stand up. If we want to challenge ourselves, slide across when we're in this position. Okay, now what we're going to try is our curtsy squat or building on yesterday's dragon squat. So from this position here, I want you to slide your leg as far back, stand up, and then just pull that leg across. So one leg behind. Slide across, can we stand up? Slide that leg across. So feeding that leg behind you as far as it will go. Stand up, slide across. Excellent job so far. Now we're gonna see if we can combine our horse walk with what we've just done there. So we're gonna go side on, and all I'm gonna do is come nice and long, slide across, and when my feet are together, I'm gonna slide this foot through. So I'm alternating between sliding across like this and then sliding this leg across here. So I'm gonna use, I'm gonna start this side round because I've got limited space. So the leg is long and I'm sliding this leg behind. If this feels easy as you're doing it, I want you to twist to the side but keep this foot where it is. So imagine you've got your camera, you're gonna slide and film to this side, then back to the front. Slide and film to this side, back to the front. If this is easy, Stay lower down for longer. If this is difficult, stay higher up for longer. Okay, let's shake it out, swap sides. So this time, I'm going to slide across this way and then sit down here. I'm just gonna move back to give myself a little bit more room. So I'm gonna slide across this way. In fact, oh, mixing up my left and right, so I'm gonna slide across this way and then slide across that way. So you'll see me almost disappear out of view. So if you can, try and focus on twisting 
and let's see how well we can stay balanced. So if you're really good, you'll be able to take your feet completely off the floor. If you're not feeling so confident, go back and revisit our other lessons if you want to, but just stay higher up and keep both feet on the floor at the same time. Now we're gonna have a go at our ninja walks. But when I say freeze, you're gonna freeze in that position, hold for three seconds, and then we're gonna stand. So a quick recap of ninja walks, very similar to our duck walks, but rather than our foot coming forward, we're gonna be doing almost an exaggerated step over. So this is what our ninja walk looks like. So as we lean forward, bring that foot to the side. Lean forward, bring that foot to the side. And if we're really skilled, let's have a go at doing it backwards as well. So nice and wide, almost like you're doing a reverse step over. So that's our ninja walk forward and backward. Now what we're gonna try is, when I say freeze, I'm gonna stop in that position, hold for three seconds, and then I'm gonna say stand. So we're really working our balance here. So I'm gonna start from this side of the room, and then I'm coming round, almost like a big step over freeze. If you need to put your hand down, that's fine. And stand. Okay, let's try that again. So big wide step over, big wide step over, freeze. Hold there, three, two, one, and stand. Now if you need to put your hands down to stand up, that's perfectly fine. If you wanna challenge yourself, try and come out of whatever position you're in. Let's try that again. So just coming forward, nice long steps, nice long steps, freeze. You might be on the ball of your foot, that's fine. Hold for three, if you can, two, one, and stand up. Excellent job, round of applause so far. So now what we're gonna do is a movement called the bear. And we're gonna try and take the bear into a single leg balance. But let's recap that bear nice and quickly. So bum up in the air, chin on your chest. So bum up in the air as high as you can, chin on my chest, and all I'm doing is moving opposite arm, opposite leg. Grown ups, if you're watching this as well, then you wanna make this a bit harder. Rather than being back here on your heels, all you're gonna do is shift your weight forwards as you step, so your upper body takes a lot more of the load. So, let's just practice our bear first and foremost. Opposite arm, opposite leg. And if you really want a challenge, don't let any other part of your foot touch the floor other than your toes. So if I show you that real quickly, let me just try and get in enough space. So I bump up to the ceiling, only my toes are allowed to touch the floor. All of a sudden, you'll realize this is a lot harder on the upper body. So only my big toes touching the floor, and I'm moving opposite hand, opposite leg. You'll also notice me clawing at the floor with my hands. Now we're gonna take that movement coming backwards. We're gonna incorporate the balance stuff in a second. So, chin on your chest, looking at your toes, and can we go backwards as well? Try and stay balanced for a couple of seconds, and then move backwards. So keep that leg in the air, three, two, one. Let's come forwards as well, hold that leg in the air, three, two, one, and three, two, one. Okay, now what we're gonna do is combine those balance movements we've done in our warm up with our bear movements. So what I'm gonna do is chin on my chest, look at my toes, gonna take two steps back, and then try and come up onto a single leg. So I'll just show you that first, and then we'll have a play about with it. So chin on my chest, I'm gonna take two steps back, so one, two, I'm gonna take one foot off the floor, if I can, I'm gonna take both my hands off the floor, and then can I come to standing upright? Right, your turn now. So two steps back, and then try and come up. If you need to use, the, um, you need to have your hands on the floor, perfectly fine. So chin on your chest, two steps back. So one, two, take your hands off the floor if you're able to, only use your fingertips if you have to. Now, can I come up? Nice and tall, can I get that foot in the air? If I'm really good, can I close my eyes without falling over? You'll see me wobbling a little bit. And if you're doing this in trainers, take trainers off. Let's really challenge our balance. Right, now we're gonna try the other side. So chin on our chest. So we're gonna go one, two. This time I'm gonna take my hands off first. I'm gonna take my foot off. And then can I come up to balance? Can I close my eyes for three? You can keep one open if you're struggling. Two and one. Shake it out. Excellent job. 
Now we're gonna get a little bit of coordination work in. So we've done this trick before, but we're gonna move on to single leg stuff in a second. So all you're gonna do is hug your knees into your chest, nice, tight, fast roll, and then see if you can stand up. So very simple, so I'm gonna roll for three, two building up some speed, and one, can I stand up? You're allowed to stand up any way you want for this. Let's try that once more. So just trying to stand up any way we want. If you're doing this with mum and dad, then if needs be, they can pull you up if they have to, not a problem. Let's try that again. So three, two, one, stand up. Okay, now what I want you to do is however you stood up before, you're not allowed to stand up in the same way. So I stood up by rolling into this position. So I have to try something new. Doesn't matter what it is, might chuck in a twist, I might chuck in going off one leg, doesn't matter. I just have to stand up in a different way. Okay, now let's try it on the other side. It doesn't matter what you did, you can try something new. Excellent. Okay, now as you stand up, I want you to try and touch your toes before you stand up. So, trying to touch your toes. So, three, two, one. Try and touch your toes, or at least get as close as you can. Bum up in the air, still try and touch your toes for as long as possible. Stand up. Let's try that once more. So trying to touch your toes. And if we're able to, straighten our legs while still touching them. If your hands are by your shins, that's perfectly fine. And stand up. Now we're gonna try that on one leg. So what I want you to do is, level three is you can just get up on one leg by touching your toe. So I'll show you that. So this will be level three. So that's probably going to be pretty difficult. Level two is we're just imagining we're kicking something in front of us. So for example, if I'm here, I'm going to kick it in front, touch one of my toes, and stand up. And level one is we're just going to come across our body, but still keeping two feet on the floor. So this is level one. So I've got both feet on the floor. I'm going to come across my body and then stand up. So you pick a level that's appropriate for you. Have a play about. If something's too easy, too difficult, perfectly fine. So let's try that. So can I touch one of my toes and can I stand up? Now that's level three. You do whatever level you're at. So we're working a little bit of balance, a bit of coordination. Maybe you can come up with a different pattern entirely. I'd love to see it. Tag Calisthenics Kids so we can see who has got what effort going on. So let's, so as we come up this time, imagine you're gonna kick something in front of you and if you're able to, don't let that leg touch the floor. So this time, I'm gonna try and touch the leg that I kick out in front of me. So I'm rolling, I'm gonna almost imagine I'm kicking, touch the foot, come up. Now, if you're not quite there, don't worry if you put one leg in front of you, you hold it, and then you push off the floor, that's perfectly fine. So we're gonna roll, kick, touch, stand. Let's break that down slowly. So roll, nice and fast, kick, touch, stand. So obviously there's a lot going on, you pick whichever level is appropriate for you. Just can you touch one foot before you end up standing up? And I'm sure you've got different ways of doing it than I have. Now what we're gonna try is we're gonna roll forward. Imagine we're kicking a can in front of us and then we're gonna try and stand up from there. If you've got mum or dad doing this with you, get them as you roll up and you kick forward, just get them to hold your hands so they can pull you up. But if you haven't, then just try and roll a little bit faster. So kick a can in front of you. So I'm gonna roll, kick that can, and if I'm able to, I can get a stand up from there. If I'm not, I can just put my hands down, give myself a little bit of leeway. So let's try that again. So kick a can, see if you can stand up. If you can touch your toe, even better. So kick that can, if your foot goes down, that's fine. And back we come. Okay, now we're gonna try today's movement challenge. This movement, is called the aeroplane. So if you're watching, you're gonna need to be on one leg. And all we're gonna do is simply start off. Imagine, so we've got our heel there. All I want you to try and do, just to start off with, is just put that heel through the ceiling. So I'll show you what that looks like from the front. Keep your hands up for balance. Just put that heel through the ceiling. Can we stay, not easy, can we stay in a position where we're not touching down? So heel. Put that heel through the ceiling. Again, if you need to hold on to someone's hands for this, you need to use a sofa, that's absolutely fine. 
So heal through the ceiling. Now what we're going to do is level two. So grab this foot. You're going to reach forward with the opposite hand, almost like you're getting a little bit of a stretch. So grab this foot. If you're in pairs, you can grab each other's hands as you come to a horizontal position. So I'm just going to lean forward, grab somebody's hand, and just see if I can hold on for three seconds. Two seconds, one second. If you haven't had a chance to try that, now is your chance. So opposite hand, opposite leg, almost like you're Superman. High five in the middle. Hold for three, two, one, and come up. Okay, now we're going to go on to level three. So this is today's movement challenge. This is my aeroplane. So I'm going to show you first, then you're going to tag calisthenics kids in your efforts. So hands out to the side, stand on one leg. So that's, that's all you've got to do initially. Then you're going to straighten this leg. And what I want you to imagine is the head and heel are going to move at the same time. So as my head moves forward, my heel comes backwards. Can I stay in this position without falling to the floor? So if I can get into that position, I imagine my chest is facing the floor. And from this position, can I turn out? Can I turn back down? And then in the middle. So thumbs up, chest down, turn that aeroplane out, turn that aeroplane back in. So there's your movement challenge. If you're feeling super confident or you just want to entertain the kids, then you can try that movement challenge with your eyes closed. I'm going to give it a go now and hope that I don't smash the TV to bits. But thumbs up, eyes closed. This is harder than it looks. My foot's already touched the ground. So do I know where my body is in time and space? Now this is the tricky bit. Can I open up? Oh, obviously not. And if I'm able to open up, can I come back to center without falling over? Again, trickier than it looks, working our balance in time and space and a bit of coordination when our eyes are closed. So I hope you've enjoyed Calisthenics Kids lesson number 23. If you need access to the other lessons, let me know and I'll send the link across. I'll catch you again in tomorrow's lesson, lesson 24, Calisthenics Kids Improving Strength, Confidence and Movement Skill in Children. Catch you again in the next video.